darling Clementine, how could I leave while you were sleeping? Oh, my darling Clementine, I couldn't bear to hear you weeping. You tried to teach me right from wrong, you tried to burn. Of all my bad ways But misery is a stubborn friend And she persists In spite of good days So I sailed from your white sands On a ship of broken plans And your face was on my mind Oh my darling Clementine, I had such a hell to be without you. My soul tormented every night, and every day I think about you. I adored your foolish charm, I never meant to do you harm, and your pain was on my mind, oh my darling Clementine, la 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 Precious Clementine, I never dared to look behind me. All this time I ran and ran and I ran aground, and I pray you find me. And with all the bad I've done, I realize that you're the one, and I hope. Ago, I think it was like 13 years ago. It was after my dad died, um, and that was like it took me a really long time to work it out. And uh, and I used music a lot to get through it. And I wrote a lot of uh, songs about like uh, yeah to to get through the whole thing. And uh, I used music like as a as therapy for myself. And uh, I started using music. Uh, like as all kinds of for all kinds of outlets, emotional and angry and and all that, you know. After that, I've been I, I decided to uh, I decided to make uh, a project called uh, Songs of Misery and Redemption, where uh, in in three albums I'm going to be uh, I'm I'm working from from total sadness to total happiness, and uh, the song Clementine it's from the first album. It's like from the sadness album. And now we have like done the sadness album, my band, and uh, we 
also done the Inner Struggles album, and now we're working on the Happiness album. And happiness is like the most difficult thing to write about, you know, because it's, it's no problem writing like, yeppy, yeppy, yeah, yeah, something like superficial happiness, but really getting to the core of happiness is, is like that's my uh, aim as an artist, really trying to um, just dive into happiness and explore it. This misery and redemption, a theme that I'm working on, it really takes takes me on a journey through a lot of things that I've been going through. Of course, I like I've only had like four girlfriends, five girlfriends in my life, but uh, you know they're quite an inspiration. And now, like I have a very nice girlfriend, and I'm writing very happy songs about our relationship. So. Uh, uh, you know, and I also write about just friends and uh, happenings and politics and whatever. I, but but I think I think there is one thing that even when I write happy songs, they're kind of melancholic anyway, because I'm Icelandic. What are you gonna do? You know, there's always grey clouds and difficulties. And happiness isn't about everything being joy, joy, joy. Happiness is about you know really embracing life as a whole with all the bads and goods. Sadness is always there, like the smell of a fart in an elevator. It's just, it won't leave. Humans are so uh, prone to feeling self-pity and whining and being sad all the time. Happiness, you know, we always let it go so easy. The real challenge is embracing happiness, really trying to capture it. And you know, being political, it's, it's all right being angry. I like being angry. I like, because anger is, a, is justice. You know, anger is when you feel something, some injustice in the world. Then you get angry, then you write angry songs. I have a, just a couple of songs that are just for me, but mainly all the songs I do are songs by train. Like, but since I am the main songwriter, it's kind of e very easy for me to just sing the song solo. And I do that a lot because it's always hard to bring like four guys on a tour. I think when I'm solo, I just, I really like uh, go into this really intimate state and uh, all the concerts are really quiet and intimate and uh, or not, not, not exactly quiet, but they're like, you know, uh, one man, one guitar, one voice, you know, it's really, really, really intimate. But when the band does the concert, it's more like an explosion, and it's like big, and the sound is a lot bigger, and, and we're just doing like a lot more dynamics, and, and harmonies, and everyone singing along, and it's, uh, it's just a lot more energy. But then when I'm doing it alone, it's a lot more intimate. You know, so it's kind of really good and really good. It just has uh, different elements that are really nice. Both usually, uh, so it's kind of interchanging. But there is like this one word that is very important to me. It's like the word la, because it means always the same thing in almost all languages. Except for Arabic, I think it means no in Arabic. But in most other languages, it just means whatever you want it to mean. You know what I mean? So, like, if I have a song with a la la in it, uh, I kind of have my lyrics. You know, everybody understands, they listen, okay, that's his story. But then we have the la la, and it can be anything. And people just sing along, and it's their part of the song. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's what they're feeling, it's what they're living.